It's race day here in Italy once again. Monza, home to so many records. The smallest winning margin, for example. Do you remember in 1971, Peter Gethin beat Ronnie Peterson to the line by one hundredth of a second. There were 40 overtakes for the lead alone in 1965, and Kimi Raikkonen clocked a record top speed of 230 miles per hour here, just over a decade ago. So there's a lot to live up to then for all of our drivers today. With top speeds up to 215 miles per hour and an average lap speed of around 155 miles per hour, Monza's reputation as one of the fastest circuits in the sport is well earned. We have 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with the best overtaking chance coming into the heavy braking zone of the Turn 1 chicane. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Valtteri Bottas, and Ocon, a Williams, Grosjean, Hülkenberg, and Pierre Gasly, Raikkonen, Ricardo, Lance Stroll, and Hartley. Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty. Leclerc, Stoffel van Dorn, and Fernando Alonso. Ericsson and Kevin Magnussen rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. You can run side by side into the retifilio, but don't break too late on these cold tires or you will hit someone. Tým v závodě a nejtěžší trati letošního kalendáře. Opět si přijdem tak dvě kola prva navíc. Tam jste mohli vidět hromada penalizací na tento závod. Já se spíš volil jak v Malku, tak v Maďarsku. Kdybychom měli na jednu zastávku boxe, dostal jsem se opět do top desítky. Osm, že tady přepíneme kšulin. Takže paní, měli bychom to už mít na stav velké ceny Itálie. Už se asi zvíčujeme nás Začátek závodu těžko předpokládat, že to bude. Ale co to bylo, Kevin? No tak za to by si zase Kevin Mopsen může sám. Naplním se si dostat.
Contact Rail Limited to snad ne. Box, box, 
seconds. We're coming in this lap. We're leading our teammate by 6.5 seconds.
ERS deployment, we can harvest more energy. Our gap to the car in front is 1.6 seconds.
Battery charge is high. Let's increase ERS deployment to up the pace. OK, gap ahead is 5 with 0 seconds. probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. 
So being able to keep up the lap time, sort of speed and smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. So here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari on the top step once more. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a good result for Sebastian Vettel, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Well, I have to give it to Kimi Raikkonen. Consistency, good battle, sensible driving. He can be pleased with that performance today. On to the constructors then. Ferrari extends their lead at the top of the championship. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us and goodbye until the next race. Dotací Marko se vzal aktivně mohl muset postupu už v prvním kole. Emil Tonce posloval před těmi kolem, který na naštěvčí místo. Pérez je před Gozžánem. Já se se vyloupil až ze 17. místa a místo 13. A to je to chytrů. Je to úplně bez změny. Amazing performance out there. You must be really happy. Yeah, must admit, just me. Do you think your rival learned from his battle with you? Hmm. Hello, Lancey. I am your quick call, Yeah, hello. You shall see me We all underestimated you, didn't we? There was quite a lot of contact today, wasn't there? Great. Well, that's everything. Great work. That's exactly the kind of result I'm looking for. Keep it up. Dobrý opak, velké ceny Itálie, velká cena Singapuru. Já si zase nasadím starší součástky. No, na investování tu toho je docela hodně. Takže spolehlivost jsem dal na max, na maximum. Now it's a shame. 
kontrolní elektronika a úložiště energie, pak ještě tady převodovka. Zdíš, že jsem po dlouhé době. A tak ještě dám teda. Jeden aký z prvnosti na úložiště energie, abychom se v příští sezóně mohli I recommend we could go for something like this. Jak si říká opak, že tady budou zase jsme to měli. Jsem závod dvě takhle rychle, tak ten napůl to bude trvat vlastně déle. Then you pass the ride from the factory without it. They'll be fitted to the car in time for the next session. Ah, that was some training of his program. But you know, that is Singapore, I should ask. No, if that se a zavod by měli už tak suché, měli by vlastně už na maximum a. I've been in touch with some contacts at Toro Rosso, and they think your attitude and results might be a good fit for their team. We can talk to them at our next contract review if you're interested. Let's see what kind of offer they put on the team. Remember to select a driver that you consider your rival from the rivalry screen on the workstation. Performing well against your rival can earn you respect and better terms when it comes to our contract review. Mamish, tady skutečně moc se vybírá. Je tady Nikol Tomec, Sergio Pérez, Romain Grosjean, pak je tady Alonso Ocon Leclerc, Ericsson, Kassli a Hartley, no? Dále máme to nejlepší... Jsme stále těli nejlepší tělku. A vy jste to měl co nejlépe vyrovnaný? Mě se podívat... že adaptace, aby mi to zůstalo. Po příští zónu, to je to, že i na druhou se ze mnou zůstanu ve Williamsu a rival bude z toho, co... Nebo že bych si děl zvolit někoho těžšího. A mám lepší, jaký velký talent. Vysoký respekt. Oni mají zájem o toho, co jsou zauber. Tak. No. Oni zvolili budou Hultmerk, Pérez, Grožan, Alonso a Okon. Takže je mezi Alfou a... Tady zauberem. Hmm, hele, z toho mě rozhodli, tak jdu lekérka, ať mám podlicení respekt taky 25. Možná jí sáska. A tohle to už bude všechno, dámy a pánové. Já vám děkuji za pozornost, cítím, že jste se dívali na mě a zatím nasledanou.